All right, so we're going to be doing an unboxing of a box set of miniatures called Mortans. It's from a company called Megalith Games. You can see that there. Uh, the game that it goes with is called God Slayer. I think this game has been out for about three years now, I want to say, maybe four. Uh, Megalith is actually a French company. Uh, I have a range of their miniatures. I think I've even talked about them on some of my uh, some of my uh, videos, but I've never actually shown what they look like. Now these miniatures are actually pretty difficult to find in the United States. There's very few places that carry them other than online. Uh, a box like this, I think this Mortan's box probably ran me 65 or 70 American dollars for basically eight figures so it's about a little less than ten dollars per figure and I don't know that might be before shipping so unless you get them on sale they can be expensive I think they're starting to do stuff in plastic I know Megalith is still around the game has not really caught on much in the US but I do like the figures I think I would like the game. I've never tried it and I would like to do a uh, playthrough, which I might record just to show how it plays or at least how I think it should play or think it plays. But let's get open into the box. So the first thing you get in the box, and I think this is in all their large boxes, is their quick start rules. And this is actually, uh, this is actually pretty nice because it has it's it's an illustrated pamphlet now this is not the full rule book I, I actually have the full rule book and it's it's large enough but this is an illustrated pamphlet which is basically designed to give you an idea of how to immediately start playing the game so they have examples of movement uh, their models and so forth so I think this is actually a little history on the Mortons and some of the other factions this is kind of a write-up on the game God Slayer God of Legends so Rise of Legends ah uh, but that's nice so you get you get that in the box the next thing that you will see are these pack of cards and the, every unit and I think some of the figures have their own pack of cards and the cards are kind of their self-contained uh, supplemental or additional rules so in this instance see if we can get some light on here this is uh, a centurion which I think is one of the uh, types of uh, characters in the game this is the Princeptor which is another figure in his stat line the Legion there I think these are your your core guys so the other two were kind of your leader characters and then this is called the Mortan's armor items which let's see if we can see if that's separate cards or something on the back okay so it's something on the back so in the points determines what types of suits of armor you can put you you, you decide to put on them so it says van braces of vitrium ash plate lorica reinforced segmentum but most of that's roman armor this is their concoctions or items so i guess this would be like their magic right and then there's the points for that region of skill I think I saw the little you get little cards here to match their magic or to declare looks like they even have cards for like declaring what they're doing what type of action they're taking their weapon items so these are very customizable it's one thing I'm noticing right off the bat the gladius so that's a melee weapon uh, points three executioner's blade imperial heirloom so that's that this is armor items large shields 
So these are more options for the large shields. And then it looks like here, I think I showed you, these are more or less kind of status and action cards which you can cut out and place besides the miniature. I guess to show what state they're in. So that's actually pretty nice. That's a, that's a bit more than I would expect in a normal box set of miniatures. Normally you get their stat line and that's it. These, you actually have cards uh, basically showing how it's differentiated. Let's get to the miniatures. So here, if we can, if I can zoom in on this a little bit, or zoom out. So it looks like there's two, three, four miniatures on top. We'll take out the first one. I like that they have the round bases. So this guy who is not showing up good at all. I'm still not showing up good. So he's one of your uh, old fashioned hand works best every time, doesn't it? Well, it looks like he's holding, he would be holding his pillow up in the air. See who else we got in here. This is uh, one of the ones that the car came with. I think the Skirator. So they're definitely not, you know, in real modern armor. Like you can see the guy has the spikes. The Romans didn't have that as far as I know. Not unless they were gladiators. Uh, but they're based off, they're kind of themed off of a Roman... Uh, Roman historical model or whatever historical reference. Uh, let's get to the next one. So this guy's kind of at an angle. If you can see his face, will it focus? It's hard to get that into focus. So oh, that one does not want to show up. There we go. So he's got his mouth open. He's kind of turned at an angle. So his weapon would be extended in that arm. So that's not a bad looking miniature. The next one is. Let's see what this one looks like. Again, we're going to need to focus that. So sorry about the light flicking and changing, but that's the only way I can get them in focus. So I like this guy. Again, you can see the armor work on here is wonderful. You got a lot of detail and items on there. Now I think that would bring us to the four on the bottom. I'm assuming these are all going to be the same skull. Let me just look quickly. Yeah, these are all the guys. They're all in the same pose. So, if I show you one of these, that's what the other four look like. I'm assuming these are your basic legionnaires. So let's see here. He doesn't want to focus. Yeah. Uh, still not focused. Uh, sometimes it works and sometimes it don't I like trying to find the right spot here so. oh man this sucks okay there we go there and here he is I don't know he almost looks like he has a mustache I can't really tell his face is open open face you can see this, the armor, and the detail. Looks like one arm would hold the shield, the other would have the pillow raised. Oh. You know, and that's that's one in the pack with his shield. 
So again, not quite Roman shields, kind of modified. But that's, uh, like I said, you get four of those, so you have a total of eight figures. Uh, really not much more to the box set than that. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to putting them together and trying to see how they work out. And then I'll actually put some video up once I once I get something together. So this is the Mortans faction. And this is for the game. This is for the game Godslayer. By Megalith Games. Take care.